come to the eight ball and California Chrome is absolutely sensational. California Chrome shines bright in the Kentucky Derby. Forte charge is surging and it's a photo finish. It's too close to call. African Story wins the Dubai World Cup. Mojo, Mojo Man. Broadcasting live from the Capital OTB Studios, this is Racing Across America with Seth Merrow. Good morning and welcome to the Monday edition of Racing Across America. I'm Seth Merrill. Thanks for joining us a little bit later on. Mike Panner from the Horse Racing Radio Network, his regular Monday visit, looking back at some of the weekend stakes action. We'll also be joined a little bit later on by John McGeary from Mahoney Valley. Get some thoughts on Mahoney Valley Racing for this Monday afternoon. The top of the show, time for a little marketing moment with Shannon Donovan from the marketing department here at Capital OTB. Good morning, Shannon. Good morning, Seth. How are you? We'll call it our Marketing Monday Minute. Marketing Monday, yeah. The, the, the triple M's. I like that. Yeah, there you go. Very good. And we mentioned last week we're both Syracuse University fans, so it could be a long night for us tonight. Good thing we're getting this out of the way today. I'm just hoping we keep it within 10. Yeah, yeah. That'd be nice North if they keep it within 10, yeah. right? Uh, and, and they've looked okay so far. But, but Sean McDonough made, made sure on the broadcast the other day to really emphasize they were playing the bottom. <laughs> they were playing the bottom of the league. So uh, we'll see what happens. Then they, they, they listed their upcoming schedule. And it's, well, uh, they also yeah. listed the players that we've lost to the oh, NBA. Yeah, 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 and then yeah. players are yeah. hurt. So the big one was it, Ennis. I mean, and then. Yeah. Duan Coleman, yeah. who they thought yeah, yeah. had high expectations for Duan Coleman, and unfortunately, you know, he's just had injury upon injury. He can't get over the knee issue. Yeah. So, if you're a Syracuse fan, you could commiserate with us uh, uh, as we move in. Yeah, who knows? Maybe they'll upset tonight. We'll, we can keep our fingers crossed. But we'll move on to uh, some of the events and promotions coming up in the next week or so here. Capital OTB uh, at the branches online or whatnot, and one we certainly want to mention. If you're a member of uh, uh, the Capital Wagering Accounts Program and the Players Reward Program, uh, there's a nice uh, bonus coming up again, a bonus day this week. Yeah, that's on Wednesday of this week, and that's on Aqueduct Races Only, so let's hope Aqueduct is okay and New York gets through the storm and Wednesday's okay for racing. Uh, that'll be a 1% bonus on $250 or more wagered on Aqueduct Races Only. You, do, you hit that qualifi qualification, you'll get the 1% bonus. Very good. We also have a uh, John De Silva uh, two, $200 uh, pick four coming up down at Gulfstream this week. That's on Thursday. He's got $200 for the late pick four at Gulfstream Park. We'll choose 20 patrons from online to be on his bankroll team. Uh, you can sign up from now until Thursday at about 1, 2 o'clock. We'll have entries available there. We'll uh, draw those names and then we'll post the 20 accounts. And the graphic said Saturday, but gave the correct date. It's the 29th. That's uh, Thursday. John De Silva's bankroll is going to be Thursday. Yeah, we just had one this past Saturday, Wilm. He had three out of four, but uh, this one this week is Thursday, the 29th. And again, you can sign up online, capitalotb.com. And uh, there was a, a nice fan appreciation day this past week, the Irish Pub up in Glens Falls, but a local branch has a fan appreciation day coming up at the end of this week. And uh, we mentioned it on the handicappers report earlier. I said this has to be one of the legacy branches here at OTB, right? It's been around for years. Oh, it's one of our top yeah, five yeah, locations. Yeah. Does very, very well for us. There's ample room there. They got the race carols. You got the TVs at the at the race carols. It's a nice spot. And uh, once again, we're giving away two dollar bet vouchers, calendars at the door, along with racing programs. There's a hundred hour contest. And there are some random drawings for uh, racing merchandise throughout the afternoon. Woodlawn Branch uh, is on, on State Street in Schenectady. Again, a fan appreciation day coming up on Friday. If you're a regular there, make sure to stop by and take advantage. Uh, also, on Friday here at the Clubhouse Racebook, we alluded to it last week. We said stay tuned, a blast from the past. Tom Amello in with the happy hour bankroll on Friday. We rotate people through, so we want to give some other opportunities along with our in-house people. And we're doing these every other week, uh, each month. So we like to bring in a special guest from time to time. And this is Tom Amello's first time. So we'll see how he does. Hopefully, uh, if he does pretty well, we'll bring him right back. And uh, it's nice to have Tom back in the mix on this. He's got a 500-hour live bankroll to play from Aqueduct, Gulfstream, Santa Anita, some other tracks. It'll be from 3 to 7. Uh, and then we'll choose 25 patron, patrons who will be on his bankroll team. Uh, I see also the uh, buffet is back. Buffet's back. That'll be at 5 o'clock. 
Uh, that's an open buffet to all the patrons that are in here at the Clubhouse Racebook and as well as supplies last. Very good. And again, that's this Friday, Clubhouse Racebook, 711 Central Avenue in Albany. From 11 to 3, you can toss your name in the hat. Uh, folks get randomly selected just about 3 o'clock. And about 3 o'clock, Tom starts betting, and that'll go to a little bit later, 7. There's a buffet uh, at 5. So it sounds like a fun day down here at the Clubhouse Racebook with the Happy Hour Bank. And we should note also, Tom will be in with me on Wednesday. Yes, it'll be a nice treat. You guys can talk about racing. He'll talk about his strategies for uh, the bankroll, his betting angles, things like that. And like I said, you know, every month that we do these, we're going to bring in some special guest handicappers from time to time nice. just to mix it all up. Yeah, nice. Uh, also, uh, the Win in Your End contest continues this weekend. Win in Your End, that's our weekly online series. And what that is is we have winner, uh, the top two guys get payouts, and then the top five qualify for the championship day. Championship day is February 21st. Uh, it's Fountain of Youth Day. And on championship day, it's the top 30 from the six previous weeks that are only going to play in the championship day. So it's a benefit to you to play in this because not only can you win the money each week, you can also qualify to be in the top 30. Once you qualify to be in the top 30 for championship day, uh, you can no longer qualify, but you can win the prize money every week. Very good. And uh, also do want to mention, uh, and uh, I should mention, I pulled it out while you were talking, uh, since we're talking about the uh, handicapping contest. I wanted to mention that after the first couple of days of the contest, John Ferraro, who uh, was a winner here at Capital TV and got sent out to Vegas, he wound up, uh, when they parsed things out, top 50 went on to the final table on Sunday. Well, at the end of the day on Saturday, John Ferraro, 159, which wasn't bad. It was a field of over 600. So that was a pretty good performance by the guy coming out of Capital TV. That's excellent. Yeah, we sent two representatives out there on that. That's excellent that uh, John did that well. Yeah, no. it's, it's highly competitive yeah, out no, there. Absolutely. I've talked to guys who have come back from that, and they said that's, it's an extreme challenge doing that. Yeah, no question about it. And oh. then you got all the other distractions of being in Las yeah, Vegas. Yeah, Las Vegas, too, so. yeah, no question about it. And uh, speaking of distractions and fun, and if you come down to the uh, Clubhouse race book on su Sunday, February 1st, certainly there'll be plenty of racing as always. But also, it's Super Bowl Sunday on February 1st. It's a little pregame for the Super Bowl. We wanted to do something special just for that afternoon. Uh, as we know, there's always a little bit of a hype, you know, people looking forward to that evening festivity of the Super Bowl. So we offer free admission, and along with a chance to spin the prize wheel, we'll be drawing names from, from 1 to 4 that afternoon. So come on in. Get ready for the pregame and uh, enjoy the day of racing. And uh, as always, prize wheel, uh, betting vouchers and merchandise, that type of thing? Vouchers range from $5 to $200. Nice. And, uh, you know, everyone has an equal chance. Nice, nice, nice. So that's, that should be a lot of fun down here. Super Bowl Sunday. It's always fun to watch the big game with a bunch of people. And you come down, as they say, some horse racing you can play as well. Uh, the bar, the restaurant should be a nice day down here, Super Bowl Sunday, especially if you get to spin the prize wheel, especially if you come up with a $200 $200, voucher. and then you can, you, you can use that another race and turn it into something yeah, even yeah, more. Yeah. So. Absolutely. All right, Shannon, as always, we appreciate the visit. We'll remind people that they can always catch up with promotions and events at CapitalOTV.com as well. But again, thanks for the visit. We'll talk to you next week. Thank you, sir. All right, Shannon Donovan from the marketing department here at Capital OTB. And again, a lot of good promotions and events, not only here at the Racebook, but uh, the Woodlawn Branch this week, online as well. And you can find out all about them at CapitalOTB.com.